Hello everyone, welcome to my class and before I'm going to tell you what our topic is in this video, I'm going to have a big big shout out to Mikaela Gabukan for getting the correct answer in one of the questions I have posted or I have included in my previous video. Thank you so much for answering and thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you have learned something and the video that I have um created helped you to understand more about your lessons in mathematics please keep subscribing and keep sharing my videos on my future contents about math and i hope that this would um this would help other students like you who are interested in mathematics or who have difficulty in math as well in understanding math so i hope i could help you so again let's go back to our topic so our topic for this video since we have already talked about geometric sequence and i have already introduced the formula in getting the missing term of a geometric sequence our topic for this video is about geometric means getting the geometric means and also getting the common ratio so are you ready let's get started <laughs> So to help us learn on how to get the geometric means and also the common ratio, I have here a sample problem. Find the three geometric means of the terms 12 and 3072. So first thing that we need to do is to recall our formula in getting the missing term of a geometric sequence and that is a sub n is equals to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. Again, a sub n is equals to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. a sub n is our missing term or the last term. a sub 1 is our first term. r is our common ratio. And n is the position of the missing term or Whatever is the position or the number here or the value here, that will also be the value of the n there, okay? So, n minus 1. So, again, going back to the questions, we are going to look for the three geometric means. So, if we try to recall what is the meaning of means, it is the terms between the first and the last term so in in this case our first term is 12 and our last term is 3072 so this is our a sub 1 then since it is stated that three geometric means therefore there are three terms missing terms in between them so the first missing term is our a sub 2 Next is a sub 3. Next is a sub 4. And then the 3072 is our a sub 5. Therefore, our given is the a sub 1 and the last term which is the a sub 5. So we are going to write that in our given. So a sub 1 is equals to 12. a sub 5 is equals to 3000. 72. And now, can we generate the second term after 12? No, because we need the common ratio to generate it. The common ratio is the number that we are going to multiply from the previous term to get the next term. So, what number are we going to multiply to 12 to get the second term and then number to multiply the second term to get the third term and so on and so forth until we arrive 3072 but then there's no other given so we need to look for a um the common ratio first because it's very impossible for us to generate maybe you could try um trial and error but it would somehow take you time so, to do that, let's use this formula and let's substitute. Since our a sub n means the last term is a sub 5. It's equals to a sub 1 times 
r to the power of n since it is 5 here the value of n there will also be 5 minus 1 so a sub 5 is 3072 is equals to what's our a sub 1 that is 12 times r 5 minus 1 that is to the power of 4 na okay so what are we going to do next make sure that r should be left on one side of the equation because that is what we are looking for in order for us to solve for the geometric means but then it has 12 beside it and to get rid of 12 we need to divide both sides by 12 so whatever is the number beside r and if you're looking for r then you have to divide both sides by that number so in this case our number is 12 so we have to divide r or the both sides of the equation by 12 so we have to cancel it out so what's left is r to the power of 4 then 3072 divided by 12 that is 256 please check if that is correct or not but i think it's i got it right since i have solved this a while ago so yeah okay 256 since we are only looking for r only r okay but r there has an exponent of 4 so what are we going to do to get rid of 4 so we are going to extract the not square root square root is for us is to get rid of to the power of 2 but since this is to the power of 4 we are going to extract the fourth root so whatever is the exponent that will also be the root that you're going to look for so if that's r to the power of 5 then you're going to look for the fifth root if r is to the power of 3 then you're going to look for the cube root okay so since you are extracting the fourth root in this side you will also do it here because that's the equation whatever you do to the other side you also do it to the other side okay so fourth root of r to the power of 4 that's r okay and then fourth root of 256 that is 4 you can use your calculator and you can press these functions and just follow also how to input the numbers for you to get the answer when you use those functions i'll be flushing it here okay so now y4 if you're going to check 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 that is supposedly like that because that is fourth root the reverse is multiplying it so this is 16 this is 16 and 16 times 16 that is 256 okay so meaning the fourth root of 256 the number that you're going to multiply by itself is 4 to get 256 how many times one two three times okay so that's how you get r so since you already have the common ratio now you can generate the pattern and get the geometric means and take note since the root that we are looking for is an even that's fourth root and this is an even number so if you have and even if you are looking for an even root then the answer is positive or the negative value but if 
what you're looking for is an odd, just like one, three, five, seventh root, then whatever is the result, that will only be the answer. There's no positive or negative. It's not both positive or negative. Unlike here that it's even, you will have an answer of a positive and negative common ratio. But if that is odd, you will only have either a positive or a negative result. Take note of that, okay? So if your R is equals to positive 4, then your answers will be 48. And then next is 192. I'm gonna look at my copy. <laughs> 768. And then 3072. If your common ratio is negative 4, then your answers will be 12 times negative 4, that will be negative 48. The negative 48 times negative 4, that will be positive 192 because negative times negative, it will yield to a positive result. Okay? Next is negative 4 times 192, that is negative 768. The negative 768 times negative 4, so that will be positive 3072. So your geometric means are 48192 and 768, or negative 48192 and negative 768. So that's all for geometric means getting the geometric means so just follow the step so first you have you are going to identify the positions of the given term so of course this is the first term and this will be our fifth term because there are three terms in between them but i have showed you a while ago and then second you substitute all the, those values here in the formula and then you do the derivation to get 4R. And whatever is the exponent of R, that will also be the root that you're going to look for. So if it is R to the power of 5, so you, will, you are going to look for the fifth root. And also... If your root that you're looking for is an even number 2, 4, 6, 8, the result will be positive and negative. So just like this. But if it is an odd root, then it's either positive or negative. Whatever is the answer, then that's it. If it's a positive answer, then that's positive. But if it's a negative answer, then that is a negative answer. That is for an odd root okay so do you have any questions comment down below and i hope this video has helped you in dealing with or in answering questions like this one getting geometric means so this has been your beautiful teacher charat <laughs> so that's all bye bye and love lots have a nice day